welcome back everyone. Just want to do a, a nice little pickup video here. This is going to be pretty much short and sweet. Won't be doing pickup videos for maybe a month or two. Uh, wait for, I'm going to save up some money for like the new 3DS XL that's coming out. Um, that's that's perfect for me. I'm, I'm waiting for that bad boy. I think it's going to be pretty good. And some really good games that are going to be coming out in August for Nintendo and other systems and, and whatnot. Uh, so I'm going to just do uh, a shorter pickup video here and not just wait till then. Uh, a lot of stuff I got from thrift stores, GameStop, uh, even stuff like eBay and whatnot. So uh, let's get started. The first things are always just the movie stuff. So we'll kind of get those out of the way. Uh, for the kids, we got them Ice Age, Dawn of the Dinosaurs. I think this is the third one. And uh, this kind of completes the series for them. So, I mean, they love these movies. So we picked this up, probably like five bucks. The next, I picked up uh, John Carter on Blu-ray, and it's pretty, pretty cool movie. I liked it. I thought it was pretty cool. It was really fun to watch with the family. So it's a really neat little, good concept. I think Disney spent a shit ton of money, money on this movie, and it didn't do very well. Um, but I thought it was good. I liked it. All right, can I get into some of the video game stuff? And before I get into the stack here. Um, show you just some of more of the peripheral stuff or whatever you want to call it only a few things this was probably like geez maybe 30 40 cents or so I got this at the bargain bin and what it is is it's a case for your 3ds uh, it's pretty thick it's pretty hard and it's also a battery so it'll charge up your uh, your DS when the, the battery's low which I thought was really cool gives you just more battery life out of it and it's kind of funny because, you know, I'm going to probably get the new 3DS and give the, my old one to my girlfriend. So that's going to be useless for me in a couple months. Um, then I got this guy. I paid a whopping three bucks for it. I mean, these sell as as you see it for like 25 to 30 bucks on eBay, plus shipping and, and everything like that. And this is pretty cool. I've been using it a lot lately. Me and my daughter have been playing like Cruising USA, which you can see right up on there and uh we use this and it works it works pretty good um so I, I think we're gonna keep it i was thinking about selling it on ebay but i think i'm gonna keep it it's pretty nice i like it and for only three dollars not bad got it at a new thrift store down in reno so it's pretty cheap um i got this on ebay I'm trying to think let's see i think I got it for 8.99 shipped so not too bad it's mario tennis for the virtual boy and as you guys can see here, I got a Virtual Boy not too long ago from my brother. He gave it to me for free. All I had to do was get the power cord for it. Um, and he gave me like four games with that. And that's in uh, one of my pickup videos from the past. Um, so now I can play Mario Tennis. And I'm going to try to collect for the Virtual Boy. It's really easy because I think there's only like 22 to 25 titles um, here in North America. There wasn't a lot. So it should be pretty simple to do. Um, next, my girlfriend got me for Father's Day. She got me... Uh, 4,000 Microsoft points for the Xbox Live, um, and we did this because we wanted to pick up, I think it was like a Castlevania game on there, uh, the Simpsons arcade game was on there, so I was, I was pretty stoked about that, so it was pretty cool, she got me this for uh, Father's Day. I got my kid um, the other day, got her Ice Age 2 The Meltdown on the Wii, it's kind of a cool little fun little platform where you can play with your, your kids, um, she likes it. Pretty fun and challenging. And then as for the family, got this at Target for ten dollars new. This was on clearance. Um, this is the Monopoly game gives you two different types of Monopoly games. Um, this is pretty cool. We like playing Monopoly, and it actually makes it a lot easier to play it on the Wii because it just calculates everything for you, so you can kind of play it through the game a lot faster. And then we have a bunch of PS2 games here, and I got all these pretty much from GameStop. And the first one. I have is uh, Extreme G, I believe, and this is, uh, I think this is like the last one they made, but I like the Extreme G games, little motorcycle racing games, played them on the 64 a lot when I was younger, um, now I have, I think, believe all of them, um, and then, I'm just going to go into some of these other titles Titles here, I got the Simpsons game, this is, I believe, like $8.99, uh, I got Street Fighter. I think this one was like ten bucks. And right now, if you go to GameStop, you, they're doing buy one, buy two get one. So it's not too bad. Got a 007 game here. I think this was like seven ninety nine. 
Star Wars uh, Battlefront 2. This one, I believe, was $8.99. Innocent Life. This is kind of like a... What is this like? I think the Harvest Moon games. And this one, I believe, was $8.99. Um, down for the more expensive PS2 titles. This was $17.99, Silent Hill 3. And it comes with... Um, a soundtrack, so it's kind of cool. Um, the next I have is Mega Man X Collection for the PS2. This one was also $17.99 and complete. And I'll show you here. It's really, really beautiful looking. Yeah. And uh, I got this because, you know, I, I have Mega Man X 4 for the PS1 and I, caught, I paid like 10 bucks for it. And I just started thinking to myself, like, it's going to be pretty expensive to collect all of them. I think eventually I will, because I like collecting the games and, and whatnot. But uh, for right now, I really just want to play them. And, I mean, that was $17.99. And the other one I have here I got a while back was uh, Mega Man Anniversary Collection. And this one has all the NES Mega Mans. But this is, like, the best way to go to, to play most of the Mega Man games that are out there for really cheap. This one sells for, like, 10 bucks, and this one's about 20 um, so $30 to get, you know, easily about 18 games or so. So, pretty good deal. I liked it. Put this one back here. Alright. Then the last PS2 game I got from GameStop was Dark Cloud 2. And I did pay a lot for it, probably overpaid for it, but I rarely see this one out where I live. So I wanted to pick it up. And I think this one's going to be a lot better than the first one. Um... Which I, I liked, so I wanted. I've been wanting to play this one for a while, but uh, you know, it's buy one get one, so you end up getting you know one of those games for free. It's pretty good. Uh, the next, I went from the same thrift store. I got the uh, N64 wheel. I picked up uh, these three games, and the lady was really cool. She actually hooked me up. She could see this game was uh, five dollars, and this is you know Robotech uh, Battle Cry. Which is a really cool GameCube game. If you guys ever see it, pick it up because it's pretty neat. Um, it's one of the better GameCube titles I like. That's like not you know a Mario game or whatever. But she gave this to me for a dollar fifty, so that was kind of cool. And then I asked her about prices on these two. And again, you I rarely see like you know uh, I was gonna say rarely see Saturn games or rarely see a Sega CD, CD game so when I do see them I try to pick them up as long as it's a pretty, pretty decent deal and and these two games are horrible games you know <laughs> so it's really just picking them up for collecting purposes uh, but you can see this one was three dollars and uh, she gave it to me for a dollar fifty um, and then this one she marked at six dollars so she gave me for a dollar fifty so she really hooked it up they're fully complete pretty good condition they all work um, this one's, you know, Dracula, and then Dracula Unleashed. Again, awful games. Um, this one has a little bit more platforming to it, so it's, it's kind of entertaining, and it's pretty funny if you ever play this game, just the punches and the kicks that he gives to, you know, all the fucking, like, to the bats and all the animals that are attacking him. Um, it's hilarious. It is a fun game to, to, to play and make fun of, because it's pretty funny to, to watch. Um, but those are what I got from the thrift store. Pretty pretty good prices, I think. Um, the last two items I have I got on eBay. And the first one is Final Fantasy Chronicles. And this one gives you Final Fantasy 4 and uh, Chrono Trigger. Um, this is what I paid $15 for, but it looks really good in amazing shape. And I'm going to try to collect as many RPGs for um, the PlayStation I possibly can, as well as the PS2. Um, because they are going to be pretty rare in the next couple years. You really can't find a lot of them, so I'm hunting down a lot of the PS2 uh, RPGs, and it's great where I can take these in. And I really don't know when I'm going to get Chrono Trigger for the SNES, you know what I'm saying? Because that's still kind of an expensive game and kind of rare, so I, I can play it now, whatever. And the last one I paid some good money for, uh, I think I paid 50 bucks for it on eBay, and it's Guardian Heroes. This is a really cool um, arcade style, more like beat em up game, and... I've been looking forward to playing this for a while, so I, I'm really happy to get it. And I've played, I've already beat it a couple times. It's 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 a lot of fun. Um, it's really cool. You you can play it several times. Has some good replay value because, you know, you can take different paths on uh, 
it gives you different you know sections where you can take a different path every time you play it so it's really cool uh, I like it a lot and it to me it was definitely worth 50 bucks and it retails for about 89.99 so it's still an expensive title on the uh, Sega Saturn but anyways guys that pretty much concludes my pickups um, you know I'll hopefully put post up some new videos of whatever you know here in the next uh, couple weeks as well um, pickup videos probably be for a while it's just Again, I'm going to save up money for a 3DX, a 3DS XL and some some games that are coming out that look really good. Anyways, guys, uh, see you later.